Through the end of the year, Oregon landlords can't evict people who can't pay rent, but they can come the new year. Unless Oregon lawmakers extend the eviction moratorium. We have two topics today. One, the proposal on the eviction uh, moratorium. Monday, a housing committee heard a proposal to extend that ban. The, the legislature allocated over $60 million. Renters impacted financially by the pandemic couldn't get evicted for not paying rent until June 30th. But they'd have to pay missed rent the following day. The proposal requires tenants fill out a declaration saying they're dealing with financial hardship tied to the pandemic. But there's a lot of landlords that maybe don't have our financial resources that are really struggling right now. And, you know, it's tough. And, and the discussion needs to, at the, from our leadership, needs to be how do we help those folks maintain? At least $100 million from the state's general fund would go toward helping both renters and landlords, with most allocated to a new landlord compensation fund. We heard today that um, from from all sides, that $100 million is not enough to, to fully address the issue. Property owners could get 80% of back rent they're owed by applying for rent assistance on behalf of their tenants. They're on the right track as far as paying landlords directly and, and making sure that these people are being made whole. We don't want tenants to end up in a situation where they just owe their landlord a lot of back debt. Um, and we know that we don't want landlords to lose properties that they own. We know we need rent assistance into our communities to truly solve this problem. While many agree it's a good middle ground. In, in both cases, it will benefit both parties. Some housing providers say the proposal goes too far. You take 20 percent off and we're not profitable. While some advocates feel it doesn't go far enough. If I'm honest, this legislative concept isn't bold. The scales of impact in this situation are way out of whack. And I would invite legislators to do everything in their power to bring them back into balance. I expect that the proposal that we discuss will see some changes. The extension hinges on Governor Brown calling a special session in December, which her office says she's open to. Those backing the proposal say it's clear they have to act now. If we do nothing, the consequences are going to be catastrophic. People will be evicted. They will lose their homes. Children will be doing their homework from a parking lot instead of in their homes. Morgan Romero, KGW News.